Oh, hey, yeah, I don't know. I got something to tell you. I think that ranks is one of my weirdest intros ever. Before we begin, I wanted to remind you guys that I started a brand new account called Fact Maniac, where I post daily amazing facts on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you haven't followed it yet, check out the links in the description and go follow it now or just search Fact Maniac on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and you're gonna get lots out of it, baby. Lots of learning. In case you weren't aware, bees are dying out on Earth in alarmingly large numbers. Oh, but now, why does that matter to me? Well, because surprisingly, bees are connected to almost everything on Earth. Without them, there's going to be some extremely disastrous things that happen. Allow me to explain. Here are 10 things that will happen if bees die out. Number 10 is honey will be gone. One of the most obvious victims affected by the loss of Earth's bee population, other than the poor insects themselves, is the world's honey-loving population. Which is, uh, everyone! Human beings have been regularly collecting and consuming the delicious sappy substance for thousands of years, and the loss of such a useful and needed product would greatly impact the lives of nearly, well, every person on the planet. But honey isn't just tasty. For almost as long as it's been a food, it's been considered a useful medicine. It actually happens to be a natural remedy for sore throats, digestive problems, and is even used to help treat hay fever. <laughs> I would be included in that. Honey also contains a number of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and antioxidants, including pinocembrin, which has been shown to improve brain function. Now at this point, you might be thinking, well, what do I care? It's just some honey, no big deal, it just goes in my tea. Yeah, but it gets a lot worse, just pay attention. Number nine is fewer plants get pollinated. The world is a very colorful place, and that's due in large part to the bees that fly from flower to flower, pollinating them and allowing them to create other flowers. Now, pollination can still occur thanks to other insects such as beetles and butterflies. However, bees are the most efficient pollinators and are responsible for the vast majority of it. In fact, even with all the other creatures and the wind included, the end of bees would still bring about the end of several flower species. This would mean not only the end of all roses and tulips, but the end of jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween, no canola oil or biofuels, and many cosmetic products that some of you ladies like to wear would be gone. So yeah, pollen is a lot more important than you think, but guess what? It gets worse! Number eight is no more cotton. As the third largest producer of cotton on the planet, the United States sure has a lot to lose if the bees are wiped out. The United States brings in over $21 billion every year through the cotton industry, but all of that would change if cotton disappeared. It's been used by humans for over 9,000 years, and we don't plan on stopping to use it anytime soon unless we're forced to. And chances are, if you check what you're wearing right now, I almost guarantee at least one thing includes cotton. Think about this just for a minute. No new clothing, no denim, no underwear, no socks. Malls would be abandoned. And let's not forget about that toilet paper and disposable diapers that you buy for your baby. <laughs> Who's gonna take care of all that poop? Number seven is a massive fruit and vegetable shortage. To say that the loss of bees would negatively impact the world's food supplies would be a gross understatement. Their disappearance wouldn't just hurt it, it would absolutely devastate it. A report released by the BBC claimed that over half the food you'd normally see on shelves in your local grocery store wouldn't be there anymore. Fruits like apples, berries, peaches, grapes, and melons are all the result of pollination, so they'd be gone. The same is also true for nuts, such as almonds and walnut. Plus, and perhaps the most devastating here, your morning cup of Java would be gone. What? That's right, coffee, like many other beans, requires pollination, and there's no way that manual pollination by human farmers could ever keep up with the millions of grumpy people in the morning. Number six would be that prices soar. Obviously, if the resources that we count on to both sustain us and make our lives easier suddenly became less available, or in some cases not available at all, then whatever remains in the world's stockpiles will skyrocket in price. Simply put, demand will greatly outweigh supply, allowing sellers to mark up prices pretty much to any number they want. And what little food is being created through pollination by humans will cost far, far more to produce. People simply cost more than bees do. Oh yeah, it's getting ugly already and there's still five months to go. Number five is that beef and dairy products would disappear. 
Human beings aren't the only ones who need the food that bees are responsible for. In fact, some of our food requires their food. Like falling dominoes, the loss of the bees would lead to the loss of most of the world's pollinated plants, which means less for animals such as cows to consume. Dairy cows require a huge amount of food, up to 45.4 kilograms every day, and much of that consists of alfalfa hay, something that requires pollination to exist. Staple foods that you likely have in your fridge right now, like milk, butter, cheese, and beef products, will vanish as the world's once thriving cow population dies off. Even sheep and <laughs> goats will be similarly affected. Sure, pigs and chickens will still exist, but I don't think anyone wants to milk a chicken or a pig. Number four are large economic changes. As food begins to vanish and more and more products become hard to find, the world will be faced with a giant economic shift and not a good one. As the coffee, cotton, and food production industries simply stop existing, millions of people will lose work. Major companies will shut down as their suppliers are unable to meet demands. Even with their prices at an all-time high, there simply won't be enough product to stay afloat. Farmers will have to change their fields over to crops that require no pollination, and the world's trade market will never be the same. Literally trillions of dollars will just stop changing hands, or it will divert to the few industries that will temporarily thrive in the new world economy. And all of that because we lost all the That's a B. <clears throat> Number three is illness and malnutrition. Sure, the world will still have food if the bees die out, but it won't be doing enough for your body beyond just filling your stomach. A study conducted by UC Santa Barbara's National Center for Ecological Analysis and Synthesis revealed that globally, crops that require bees and other animals to pollinate them actually contain most of the available dietary lipid, vitamins A, C, and E, and much of the world's calcium, fluoride, and iron. With such a resource being wiped out, many human beings won't get the vitamins and minerals that their bodies require, which can lead to illness and, uh, what's that big one? Oh yeah, death. Malnutrition is already a serious problem for a lot of the Earth's population, and the loss of bees will add large numbers of people affected by it. Number two is famine. Though the loss of bees will be felt in every country on the planet, it will hit hardest in developing countries, especially those that rely on pollinated crops as a primary food source. Due to the shortage, or in many cases, the giant decrease in the already limited supply of food coming in, millions of human beings would simply die as famine devastates them. Experts have predicted that if the bees do die off, it will be a gradual occurrence. If it's not and we lose them very quickly, the impact on developing areas will be even more severe as the change in foods from corn to wheat to soybeans and rice would take too long to make a positive change. Are you starting to see where I'm getting at here, folks? It's the end of the world. And number one is human extinction. There's a famous quote that's been linked to Albert Einstein that says, if bees disappeared off the face of the earth, man would only have four years left to live. Now, while this might sound severe, some experts have pointed out that it might not be that much of a stretch. We already know that without bees, we'd lose food, clothing, and potential drinking water, three things that all humans need to survive. But taking away basic requirements means that people will panic and conflicts will escalate over the rice and wheat that we are able to harvest. The ripple effect from the loss of bees will be felt by literally everyone, and the idea that the world will plunge into global war for resources is very possible. And as this video ends, if you listen closely, you hear that? That's the sound of apocalypse bunkers being built right now. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it in the future, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for my new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.